He could stay in, there for, <laughs> stay in there for six months. Oh, no. Now, What's in your bag? just before I start, and I just want to explain this. Uh, I've been advised not to do this because it tends to give stray dogs a leg up. But, uh, but I think uh, we should explain to uh, our audience, our audience, who have kept us here for 20 years, that sometimes chunks of snot <laughs> <laughs> slip through the portals of the media corridors. And so is the case here, um, that a piece of bacteria managed to dodge the net, the sieve, uh, the, you know, the safeguard of what this profession's about. Now, there's a little man, there's a little man who quacks through his nose and he's masquerading as an analyst, self-proclaimed analyst, and his name's Dave Penberthy. He wrote a piece about us, but this chunk of snot, <laughs> Dave, his modus operandi is too, too obvious because a couple of times a year, desperate people who are feeling irrelevant or insecure or insignificant, they have a crack at doing this sort of stuff, desperately hoping that someone will notice them in their little world. They cling around the stems and imbibe the juices of stronger plants, hoping <laughs> that they'll be noticed. Botanists call them parasites <laughs> or suckers or leeches. It's the usual, the snot block says, <laughs> it's the usual, I don't watch your show, but, which means either the snot block is a liar or he actually watches the show. And for that, we thank him because he's one of the people that's kept us on air for 20 years. And you see where this is headed, don't you? I mean, it's these gratuitous snivelings that are designed for one and one reason only, to give the snot block, people like Dave, it, while he's banging away in his typewriter doing all this stuff, he gets firmer and firmer. Oh, no. He gets... No, please. No, he, <coughs> I, he gets firmer and firmer so that he just, just ends up just almost exploding. Oh, okay. now, and he skulks because he's what? got a pig's eyes that never look up, a pig's snout that only knows muck, a pig's brain that only knows the sty, and a pig's squeal that only cries when it's hurt. And he sometimes opens his pig's mouth, turked and ugly, and lets out the voice of God shrieking at the whitewash that covers the manure <laughs> about his habitat. And Oh. I'll tell you another thing about oh. the snot block. No, oh. I'll, just tell you, I'll just tell you another thing about the snot block. He is a member... Now, listen to this. You'll think I'm making this up. He is a member of a group. This is the man who th is the moral arbiter of what is good and what's not good on television. He is a member of a group, you can look this up, called Beer and Whores. That's... He's a member of that group. That's either a reflection of his lifestyle or who he keeps company with. I don't know. It's probably, probably oh, both. No, hang on. on. Oh, suppose your name was Dave Penberthy and suppose you were a shithead. <laughs> <laughs> but I repeat myself. That is the sort of people that we... And he'll love this because we are mentioning his name, but you only get one free kick, Dave, and that's tonight, and we'll never mention your pathetic little name again. All right, Samuel. Now, uh... <laughs>